Hello from Gardening at Dwensa here in Ireland and this is a greenhouse update and the thing that's really standing out here at the moment is this fantastic yellow cymbidium. And welcome to my greenhouse here in February. I'm going to just take a few moments and take you around what's looking nice and attractive at this time of year. And I have to start off with this yellow cymbidium because it's an absolute vision at the moment. Look at it. And I'm really pleased because when I was away, the greenhouse timer didn't um, switch on the heating one night and we went down to 1.2 degrees out here so I'm very pleased that the cymbidium flowers weren't spoilt. Now I didn't stake these up properly I didn't I did the first bit of the staking but didn't progress beyond that with the result that they're kind of hanging down the flowers are hanging down and I think it looks really rather nice. We're looking here at three of the spikes that I have on this large no ID plant. We have another one over there, one at the back which I'm sure we'll see when we go around and uh, whoops I'm just knocking things as we pass here and another one over there. Now as you can see not all of the buds have opened yet but there's enough to make an absolute vision here in the greenhouse. And in terms of yellow, this is the kind of yellow that I really, really like and really, really do appreciate. Now, I think this is kind of like a mini dwarf cymbidium because it certainly isn't as tall as many of the others, but it still makes quite a sizable plant in time, as you can see. I'm very reluctant to leave this plant behind and go and have a look at some other things that we have in the greenhouse, but um, yeah, I guess I must. I've had this for many years, as you can see from the size of the pot, and it really is a pretty little thing. Look at the close-up of those flowers and the blotches on the, on the lip there. They also open quite well. A lot of cymbidiums don't seem to open properly. They have this kind of incurved appearance. And this one has it slightly, but um, not too much for my money anyway. Okay, I think we're going to leave the cymbidium and we're going to move over this way. And here we have the Clivia miniata you've seen in other videos. And this flower is still going strong. This flower spike is still going strong. And the good news is that other spikes have sprung up. We've got that one there. And over here, there's another one. So for anyone who contacted me about their clivias saying if there was still time for them to come into spike, I think the answer is yes, plenty of time because um, mine is just... I mean, it's just coming into, it's, for, it's just finishing its first flush now and we'll have more. I mean, I may have more than two other spikes coming on this as well in time, so that's good news. And as these flowers mature, they become more red than orange, as you can see here. I love the first flush when the flowers are really that kind of, not orange juice orange, a little bit darker than that, but really really quite fine. Okay and what else do I have to show you? Well I suppose over on this side of the staging the thing that really jumps out is my Veltimia which is in full flower now and let's just walk around past the staging and have a look at it. Bear with me. There's a lot of stuff to negotiate in here. Okay, so this is in full flower. We've got four spikes of um, the Veltimia. And I don't know, I suppose they might be just going past the Best Buy. But they're still looking fine. 
or maybe it didn't like the 1.2 degrees, who knows. A fine plant, as you can see from the curvy leaves, and the leaves really are quite a thing in their own right, um, noteworthy and, I mean, it's worth growing it just for the leaves, I think, really. But it really looks well now. Super thing. So I've got pink, I've got yellow, and I've got orange. Got all the, well, nearly primary colours. And over here in the corner we have the Sparmania. Still flowering, still looking good. And for those of you who asked, this Agave Mediopicta Alba is really, really performing well at the moment. It, well, yeah, it's gone basically from strength to strength since the repot, so I think I did it some good. There's just some more bowls of tulips that haven't yet flowered yet. So we're back to this main shelf again. This is the one that leads down the right hand side of the greenhouse down to the very back. We've been looking at the centre point and we've been looking at this right shelf. And I suppose the thing that really stands out at the moment is that some of my tulips are coming into flower. And you can see them here. And those of you who watch my videos regularly will recall that I planted these tulips at some stage in autumn. They were cheap bulbs. And this one that is coming up now is Calypso. Um, and it's looking really rather nice. I have another pot here. Which is also coming into flower. Now there's, they've really been through the mill, these tulips, because we had mice eating them at one stage <laughs> and everything. But um, yeah, but the first ones have rewarded me for my patience and my persistence with these tulip uh, flowers coming up now. And just briefly, what have we got looking good on this staging here? This variegated Aeonium, always looking good. Really, really good. Um, let me see, the Buffon is kind of losing its leaves now. So that's what it's doing there. That's why those leaves are kind of dropping down. So soon it's going to be naked. <laughs> and down the front, the uh, cyclamen are just finishing their flowering. And apologies to the person I promised a cyclamen video to, but um, <laughs> they've stopped selling them in the garden centres now for this year, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get around to making one for you, but hopefully next year. And then there's that other one down there, the pinky one, which is probably looking the best of the three now at the moment. And then just... Going up here, Camellia finished flowering and Echeveria Contents Carousel looking gorgeous as always and flanked by Aloha Variegata which has a flower spike, nice orange flower spike, very pretty. Oh, that makes quite a nice picture just there doesn't it? Super. And then we have um, some agaves looking really, really good together with Dudlia, that silvery one there. Really nice. And here we are down below on the staging where I've just noticed that this cotyledon is looking pretty good at the moment. I'm not sure if it's in flower or bud, but it's looking nice. And I think we need to bring this up to the front of the greenhouse. So come with me and we'll find a space for it because I like to put up at the front the things that are looking really good now. So now what shall we take out? 
I suppose we can take out that um, cyclamen. That's really not looking great at the moment. Hmm. Kind of tricky to do with one hand. There we go. <clears throat> There we go. Okay, and um, yeah, so I guess that's the greenhouse um, today in February. And as usual, we have Boo Boo to say goodbye at the end of the video, and she's come to sit up here on a chair and laugh at us. So it's bye from me. Thanks very much for watching. Please do check back for more and as well, of course, check out my merch shelf by following the links underneath the video to perhaps treat yourself to a gardening at once, a t-shirt or a tote bag or something of that nature. Okay, that's all for now. Bye.